All right, so what's going on, guys? This is a quick video update. Uh, we can't all be as lucky as Jeff McKenzie, the tightest of the whitest. Um, he has an awesome shoot 'em up collection, and he has one that I've wanted for a very long time for the Saturn that is very expensive, and that being Battle Garega. So let's check out this latest news that we've got today. So it's no secret that shoot 'em ups are like getting kind of popular again, which is really awesome because I've been a huge fan of shooters, shoot 'em ups, whatever you want to call them, for a very long time. Um, so PS4 has a pretty good stack going. We got Raiden 5 that just came out not too long ago, Darius Burst, uh, Darius Burst Chronicles Saviors, Sinmore EX. Pretty much everyone in the crew has this. Uh, Caladri's Blaze, uh, Blue Rider, oops, super glossy. Um, Ghostblade HD, Tachyon Project, I always forget how to say that one, and uh, Rhyme, and yeah, that's I think that's all of them that have been physically released for PS4. However, uh, on my Twitter account, shameless plug, go ahead and follow me, I'll leave a link in the description. Um, I follow pretty much all the good things, and I usually retweet stuff, so if you follow me, you're going to get good game deals. Uh, and I know the nitty and gritty outside things of how I always get good game deals. Um, but yeah, so East Asia Soft, they're a subsidiary of Play Asia. They do all of these. These are just the shoot 'em ups that I have from them. Um, they do tons of cool games. I've got one Vita game coming and one more PS4 game coming, and then they wrapped out for the year, and then they're going to do more next year. Um, but they just tweeted that, uh, let me look at it real quick. Uh, one second. All right, so, uh, Exiler, I don't even know how to say that. Uh, I guess it's it, so basically it's a Korean Twitter account and I can read some of it it says physical disc confirmed for Battle Garega revision.2016 which is the remake for the PS4 and the Xbox one uh, so far they've only been digital they just came out not too long ago for 34.99 on PSN and live which to me is a little pricey for something that I'm not going to physically own I'd probably pay 15 maybe but 35 is a little too much for me on the digital aspect but um, so they're releasing, I don't know if it's limited or not, but let's see here. It says it's 45,000 won to dollars is 41 bucks for a cop, a physical copy of Battle Gorega updated graphics for the PS4. It's only on PS4. Um, and I really want to add that to my ever growing shoot 'em up physical collection for PS4. So this is just kind of a heads up on that. Uh, I don't know if, if Play Asia is going to do this on their website. I would assume they will because it's Play Asia. So I think they're based out of China, I want to say. Could be wrong. Um, hopefully they get these physically in stock. And if not, I'll probably have to resort to eBay scalpers, much like you will as well. But either way, it's still going to be cheaper than the... How much is that going for on the old eBay for the Saturn? Let's find out. Battle Garega eBay. Uh, let's see. Here's one for 260. Here's one for 380. Here's a sealed one. Oh, it's it's a VGA 90 gold plus for 623. Totally worth it. Uh, I don't understand the I, concept of collecting sealed games. To me, that's asinine. But whatever. Some people are into that. But um, so Battle Garega is getting a physical copy. Uh, I'm very excited for that. So. Also, on a side note, oh, totally just touched the mic. Um, got a lot of videos coming out. I've got one rendering now. I've got three more in the editing in my Sony Vegas. And then uh, I have a notebook that I have tons of videos planned out. I've been slacking on the content here a little bit, guys. Um, and I'll be honest with you, just because I've been Netflixing it up. <laughs> uh, if you haven't watched The Punisher yet, highly recommend it. I just finished it all in one weekend. It was fantastic if you like comic book marvel is that marvel i think that's marvel i don't know but either way i like the punisher and it was fantastic uh the guy that i don't know his name but he did a great job playing the punisher um basically i don't think it could be done better kind of like um what's uh he, fuck what is the dude's name that does logan in x-men 
totally drawing a blank. But that guy, obviously, there's no other Wolverine except for that guy, uh, Hugh Jackman. Uh, nobody else could ever be Wolverine. That guy just like looks like Wolverine. This guy, to me, looks like what the Punisher would look like in real life if there ever was one. So like he just played the role very well. Um, then I was catching up on the Blacklist and just all sorts of the Netflix exclusive content. And yeah, so that's kind of where I've been. Uh, but it's all done and over with now. So back to full, full on making content. I've gotten, I don't know, 10 or so subscribers here in the last two weeks. So appreciate it. And uh, welcome to the channel. And um, yeah, so look forward to all these uh, different videos coming here soon. And um, as always, peace out for now. Until next time. Come here, you mother. I'm gonna... <laughs>